My Land Rover is always parked outside. I use it as a landmark, to, so it's quite a convenient way to point out where our house is. We're always drawn to not so conventional homes. A walk up was one of the houses which we really like. Hi, my name is Fanny and I am a sales representative at a research and advisory firm. Hi, my name is Ping and I work in advertising as a creative director. So we've been living here for about two years. Our house is about 1,400 square feet and we are in Kamala. I mean, the house was really nice. Uh, the first impression was amazing. I mean, the owners did a good job of like showcasing the house. Windows were open, it was very windy. There were like four other couples with agents walking around and then when we came out, we were like, oh shit, <laughs> everybody's, gonna, everybody's gonna like this house and we could see from their faces, they were like, wow, 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 right? So we were like, shit, we better put out an offer soon, but not have to look desperate. I'll say the style is like Chapalang. We approached each space as a unique space to do up and we really worked hard on pictures. Uh. So we're both like sharing pins, we're just pinning stuff to each room. We kept the layout the same as the previous owners, just that we needed a little bit of a refresh or update on the carpentry. We wanted a really big table, again because we wanted to host friends and family. The previous owner sourced and customised a lot of these grills around the house. I mean even the doors were original, we didn't change it, the locks were original. Of course being Chinese and being, you know, a little bit more um, Superstitious? Yeah, it's got a 8-8, eight, eight, um, so that's far, far in, in Chinese. We've got a front door and a back door with the spiral staircase at the back. I really like the spiral staircase because it adds character to the whole walk-up vibe. And for me, it's very convenient to use the spiral staircase to access the cars at the back. And the whole zombie movie, apocalypse kind of thing. So to have two exits in the house, is kind of like, oh, it's a good idea. <laughs> This is where I do all my calls, all my work. Um, obviously, I need a big shelf and rack to display my toys, my cars, my books. Little things I like about working here is that from my desk, I can actually look at and admire my own car while I work. <laughs> Basically, I thought it would be cute, you know, to be working in the study and then be able to observe the kids. That's where the connecting wall is to the kids' room. To spy on our kids, uh, not on the yeah, glass. And oh. up and she'll bring the glass and then she'll be on the call and she'll be like, what's going on? <laughs> and she just tried to distract us through the glass. So it's like it's quite a nice feature. And we kept the circle, I guess, throughout the doors or so, just to create some continuity. That balcony space that's connected to our bedroom, we wanted it to be able to host friends. You know, it was very communal, carpets and stuff. That my wife and I, we wanted to have, um, to add to this table so that it gives a bit of a character and playfulness to the space. Yeah, the, the we... idea was to like, you know, have coffee in the morning and like, you know, sit on a swing, sit on swing and like admire the surroundings. Um, That's the idea lah. But we actually rarely do that. We went to um, a few boutique hotels. They chose very dark, like coloured theme. It will make us feel like we are, you know, staying in a hotel like every day. We also put a feature wallpaper on the ceiling instead of behind the wall. We used to do a lot of um, camping, camping trips yeah. out in Malaysia. If we put the wallpaper behind us, as you're lying in bed, you can't really see anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm looking at nothing because it's behind you, right? It was something different, we tried and it worked. I mean, even the installer was surprised we were, we were going to do it on the ceiling. I think one of the main highlights of the bathroom would be her, her need for a bathtub. Yes, that was my only criteria for this house. I was like, I, I need, need a bathtub. bathtub. Because I'm always looking at like, you know, and movies, and movies where the girl's like in the bathtub with her glass of wine. And I'm like, I need to do that. We really enjoyed designing the house without an ID. It was fun because we were able to pick and choose and customise the house to our taste. We didn't have an additional person telling us what is, can be done or what cannot be done or the rules with, with house designing, right? That allows us like a free, free play. Free play yeah. yeah, and it also ensured that we kept to our budget. So one of the interesting features of this house is, is that we have a recording studio. As you can see, we're on air right now. We're recording the greatest hits of my wife. <laughs> Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.